Hi, my name is Sherwin, and I'll be answering the question, what is a Digitech? Uh, also known as a digital capture tech, or just plain Digi. To answer this, we'll be looking at some of the history and what the essentials are. So what is a Digi, and why is there a need for one? Somewhere around the 70s, uh, commercial photography started becoming a little bit more high volume, and photographers are shooting 20 or more rolls of film in a day. Uh, you got somebody on set called a loader who would load and unload film from the cameras. This came with some best practices, not exposing the film to bright light, correctly labeling everything with notes, uh, prioritizing what they need to look at when they're looking at contact sheets before developing. Since developing was quite expensive, this was quite important. So fast forward a few years and we got our first digital cameras. Uh, digital cameras meant memory cards, and a uh, loader was replaced with a digi. A uh, photographer would shoot onto one of these and hand it to a digi, who would then copy it onto a computer. This came with its own best practices, in what format to copy them, how to label them, and how to do it all efficiently. Especially on location, laptops and computers weren't what they are now. And then they introduced this guy. A tether cable meant that you could shoot straight to a workstation and see the results immediately. A digi would have to be at the workstation, making sure that all the files were coming in correctly, being saved in the right place, in the right way, and being displayed in the way that the photographer would want them to be displayed. Add in a few advancements in laptops and screen technology and make them quite a lot more portable, and we arrive more or less where we are today. All of this technology means a, a digi needs to have a lot more knowledge. Not every camera system works with every tether cable. What's the best software format to be using? A lot of times on commercial jobs, clients like to leave with the images that day in a naming convention that their business uses, along with a separate folder that contains the images that they liked on the day. As we all know, hardware and software can be finicky and doesn't always behave in the way that we expect it to. Tethering can fail. Uh, Software can shut down unexpectedly. If you're working on location, your workstation could overheat. Uh, a lot of things can go wrong. Your job as a digi is to troubleshoot and come up with a solution to basically anything technical. What it boils down to is, the same as a loader was saving the photographer time, a digi needs to take care of any of the background problems that might come up so that production can continue without interruption. Every job is different and each comes with its own requirements and it can get quite complex. Having said all that, if you like tech and you like solving problems, there are a lot of cool toys to play with. Uh, you're always looking out for new ways to improve efficiencies and workflows. I think that's how I would sum it up. Uh, Digitech is basically preparation for set and on-set support in case anything doesn't work the way that it should. Absolute essentials. Um, understand the gear that you're gonna be working on. Have a good working knowledge of tethering software and know what to troubleshoot when it fails, which it will. Oh, and be a nice person on set, absolute essential. I'm gonna follow this up with a more comprehensive guide on essential gear by calling all the best DGs I can find and seeing what's on their cart. Email me if you have any questions or just to say hi. Ciao. Ciao.